guys, welcome back to Shift Into Gear. It's Polo and Fads. Hey guys. Today we've got the all new Tucson. We're excited to show you. Now these ones come in three different models. This one here is a standard that we'll be showing you. It's, we're excited to actually bring this model to you today and actually explain it and it goes through a right through it. But before we do that, remember, subscribe, like and share. That way me and Polo can bring you a lot more reviews. It helps us a lot guys, really appreciate it. So yeah. please don't forget. All right, Polo, what do we have today? All right, we've got the all new Tucson here. This is a 2021. This is a standard model. We're going to go through a bit of the differences, but basically, as you could probably see, if you know much about the previous model, they've changed it from the ground up, completely different styling. Over here, the main, the main thing when you see out the front, guys, is this massive grill that's pretty much that's huge. rendered right into the headlights, and it's pretty much all kind of one line. That's the biggest the grill bottom. I've ever seen. It's a massive grill. I think it competes with those new Beamers. It does. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I do generally really like the light design. When you see them on, which I'll turn them on shortly, you'll see it's a whole series of lights. So they've got the main one here, and then a series of lights here. It does have a very, I'd actually say, a very gorgeous design there. And then you've got your main headlight here, which is also like a fog light slash um, high beam headlight there too. Now they're, this they're being, halogen, aren't they? For the halogen. Oh, they've got the yellow light in the um, in the standard. Um, if you do go for the was it the Highlander? It's uh, the Elite. Oh, the Elite is the middle. Is the next one up? Yeah. Um, in the highlighter, I also have the upgraded headlights there too. The LEDs that Polo loves so much. Yeah, so um, no front facing camera in this one, guys, and no front sensors. Uh, big Hyundai badge, just in case you forget what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, the front end is very, I'd say, sleek. It does give you a bit more of a, I think, European kind of vibe with the headlights. It's, it's different. It's definitely, it kind of reminds me of some Peugeots as well. But I like it. I like it a lot. Um, coming over to the side, being the standard model you have the 17 inch alloys with the elite i believe it's 18s and then if you go for the highlander you get 19 wheel inch wheels that's correct yeah the design's pretty i'd say pretty much mundane nothing amazing but it does a job you've got alloy wheels with it on the side you've got some nice design side mirrors and um, blind spot monitoring coming standard from these cars you've got a little icon if you want to come show me i'll come in just on the left it's got a little hazard light See where my finger is? Yeah, there we go. We can see that. Yeah, you can see that. But that basically uh, glows red, I believe, from the driving. Um, nice kind of lines across the car. If you can actually see, you've got a line that comes around here, comes around you can just see like it. that. It does actually give it a bit more of a wide, wide-bodied look, because what it does, it kind of from the fenders, they're a bit wider, and then it comes in. And then once it comes in a bit, you can see the lines protruding back out. You've got very distinctive lines across the body, guys. And then once again out of here so it's a lot of lines isn't it yeah <laughs> very uh, aggressive kind of design on the side once again I, what i was saying is the front end looks like it's a bit wide narrows down to the middle and then back again widens at the back here and then it kind of it's like puffed up guards on the side uh, obviously you've got the resin kind of scratch plate here everything else is pretty simple got a nice little design on the mud guard things there and yeah, coming around the back, guys, this is the this is a very interesting part. They've got a nice little silver chrome design on the side here. Kind of out of nowhere, to be honest. Just a bit of silver mixed in with the black resin and the white color. It's like a two-tone contrast. Yeah. And you've got the sleek crossbars in the car. Oh, sorry, um, roof racks. The rails, yeah, going across. Yeah, the roof rails there. Nice shark fin antenna coming around the back. What do you think about the rear light tail, the tail light design? It's different. Yeah, it's different. Cool. It's, it's got like a little... It looks like fangs. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Let me actually just quickly jump in and press the brakes so you can see what it looks like. Got the indicators too? Yep. How does it look? Pretty cool. Yeah. I think why they've done that, even with the blinkers on the back. Yeah, I like it. Um, when, when I put my phone on the brake, does this light here turn on at all? It's slightly. Slightly, maybe if you put the... Yeah, it's cool. We've got the reverse camera here too, guys. Um, you do have a rear sensor. The rear sensors with a standard model Let me too. just come in closer so you guys can have a better look. Yeah, you've got those sensors just on the sides. Yeah, you've got like a nice kind of diamond pattern. See with the diamond the again. Yeah, so that's kind of like a design they've gone... Kind of matches the sides. Um, and I can imagine there's probably a bit in the interior as well. Opening the boot. Plenty oh. of cargo area, what do you think? That's massive. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, John Fence, isn't it? <laughs> I, I will in a second, actually. Is that a full size spare? Full so. size alloy. Okay. A lot of people will be happy impressive. with that, yeah. so you don't have a space saver. Mm. And it's, you know what? Not that it's particularly a um, improvised um, spot to place things, but you can actually put some things over here. You've got, you got pockets as well. Little pockets. I don't know if you can fit anything there first aid efficiently, kit. but yeah, first aid, <laughs> first aid kit. kit. And basically, if you pull this up there, yeah, you can see there's a bit more room at the back there. So you can hide some goodies in there as yeah, well. You can probably, yeah, you can actually put some stuff there. You know, your curtain here. Let me just see if I can figure this out. <laughs> I can't believe how big this boot is. Yeah. But it is a very big boot, a lot of volume. You, you, want to, you want to do a test by sitting yeah, inside? Yeah, we'll just do a test when Paula <laughs> jumps in the car just to make sure. What do you yeah. think? So Paula, what do you read this? Yeah, it's, I could set up shop here. I could, I could definitely camp here for a bit. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually pretty, it's, it's well sized for sure. So I'm coming around the floor, with the boots. I'll just come around to the front. So look at the three seats. Let's see if there's any adjustments here. Yep. There's a little thing here. Oh, so the seat does recline. Oh, so it's reclinable. Oh, actually, it does recline a fair bit. There too. we go. Okay. You look like you could have a nap there, Paula. Yeah. <laughs> Probably could. Um, oh, it's definitely. It's a comfy spot. Um, plenty of headroom. Plenty of knee space. There's a little armrest or cup holder there too. Yeah, I think it could com comfortably fit three people in the back. Yeah, you've got a lot of headroom, I could see as well. You've got dedicated rear vents too, come through. Oh, we'll take a look. Those are important. Very important. There we go. Two USB ports to charge. For charging. Um, air vents. There's no controls here to control anything, but... So it must be just from the front control on the yeah, seat? Yeah, control from the front. That's better than nothing. Little pockets over here. And there's a cup holder on every single door too, so that comes in handy. So cup holders. Yeah. Look, uh, it's definitely comfortable. It's functional. Does it drop? Yeah, it's got the baby seats, of course. Oh, so ISO 6. Yeah. And yeah, that's uh, not bad for the back end. Let's go back. Alright, guys, maybe I'll get Fatty to actually go through the interior of the car. Some nice, some nice stuff we want to show you. Alright, thanks a lot, Paula. Fats, now we're going to see the inside. Show let's us go. Home. Let's go. Let's go in it. Cloth seats. Well, it is a basic model. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't this is expecting the entry level, guys. I wasn't expecting leather seats. I do have leather on the sides, though. Is that okay? Yeah. Nice Probably isn't. It's real leather, but <laughs> it, it feels like leather. Uh, you've got some cloth trim over here. Kind of finish look as well yeah. with the silver, like you're mentioning. So they're doing the two-tone effect again throughout the whole vehicle. They've got a lot going on this door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all it's different kinds of patterns, all different kinds of plastic, we've got the piano finish look, we've got the nice silver trimming as well. It's okay. But it suits, it goes goes on quite well with it. Tell me about these seats. So if you go up the next model up, the Elite, I believe you actually get the leather seats, a certain yep. leather seats itself. Mm -hmm. um, Highlander as well, actually have the leather seats. Now this itself isn't electric, but it's got Electric lumbar support. That's interesting. So it's got electric lumbar support, guys, <laughs> but uh, manual adjustments for the height and the. So pretty much everything's still old school. Rail system, and then of course pumping up your seats up, so standard. Yeah. But hey, if you got the lumbar support, it's still pretty good. But that does come in handy. It really it, does. It does. Now, funky looking steering wheel. It is. I feel like you could even drive like this. I actually car. really like it. Driving the car here, I actually had it in cruise control, and just um, had my hands over here. It's like you're resting, resting it there. It's actually, I think it's a really cool. Actually, look to it. It's it a does come in handy. It's a different design. It does give it the overall look and the feature inside as well. Yeah. But I can see it's also got emergency braking system throughout the yeah. vehicle. I'm just going to turn it on because it's going to keep yeah. kicking non stop. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a key. Yeah, it's a normal key. It's no keyless <laughs> entry. You think most, um, even base model cars nowadays, come standard with keyless entry these days? So. I, th I thought it would be like a must right now. Yeah. Being 2021. Automatic lights, I'm impressed. At least we have that, yep. which is pretty good. Now we've also got our speedo. Can you see from there, Paula? Yeah, I'm sure when the cluster it's, goes. It's a different cluster, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's okay. It's got some digital in the middle, and then the rest of it is analog. I do know that the Highlander comes with a completely digital display. Have you actually seen it? No, I haven't. Yeah, it comes with some really cool features. They do actually show up a camera on the side there when you're changing lanes as well. That's pretty cool. So depending on if you're changing lanes, you actually get a little screen there showing a camera on the side. Um, but yeah, this is the standard one, guys. And you were saying about the safety systems? Yep, so emergency braking, of course, the lane standard. assist. Yep. So we've got all that standard in the vehicle itself. Which, hey, these days it's a must and it's a big help as well. Yeah. Um, now I can pretty much see we've got all our Bluetooth systems still on the steering wheel, mm -hmm. mode control. Massive screen. 
Fantastic. So that's an eight inch. Eight inch. If Standard. You, if you go up to the Elite and the Highlander, then you do get a 10.2, I believe, inch screen. Have you actually seen the screen, Fags? No, this is the first I time I've seen it. I actually have seen it. It is massive. It's kind of uh, more long. It's like a wide angle screen. Like it, the actual depth of it is not as huge, yep. but um, it is very wide. So when he says 10.2 inch, guys, it's actually from side to side 10. So from here to here? Yeah, to here. I believe you're probably very very similar um, height to that one. All right, perfect. Come yes. on around. Yeah, I'll come around so I can see it. But we just wanted to, once again, show you guys the steering wheel. I actually think it's a very clever design, and I actually enjoy driving it with the steering it's wheel. It's light. Yeah, it's a light steering light as well. Light power steering. All right, I'm going to come around. Guys. Come around, Paula. All right, so back to what we were saying, as, yep. you, as you can see, the massive eight inch screen that they put in. Yep. Now, look at the dial knobs. They're not, they just like scroll upwards. Okay, so the tuning and the volume buttons. Instead of turning, yeah. they're rolling upwards yep. and down to tune and for volume as well. Now, um, this does have wireless CarPlay, guys. So standard wireless CarPlay, standard wireless charging, your little port here. So you can charge your um, compatible smartphones over there. You do have a USB input on the left and right as well for 12 volt power charger over here too. Uh, I think that's actually when you're charging the phone. Yeah. It, it lights up, sorry. Okay, now over here, you've got your main screen. How do you get to the main screen? So we go home. home. The menu. What do you think about the interface? I like it. I like how it's flush. It, 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 I like how it sits flush too. Yeah. Um, a bit simple with how they've designed it with the colors. There's no really vibrant colors and everything like that, but just simple. But compared to a lot of other brands we've seen, it's, it's yeah. pretty Yeah, pretty it's decent. It's, it's very responsive, guys, as you can see. I'm, it's not pixelated. It doesn't seem pixelated at all. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell from actually how I'm showing you. There's too much glare there, but it doesn't show any pixelation. Um, impressed with the wireless CarPlay though. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. I think all cars should have that, so yeah. wireless system. Let's have a look at the cameras. I just want to put it in reverse. Yeah. Okay, so guidelines actually move with you and they've also got just an emplacement yeah. where they put it. That's good. With so the just car. a reverse camera in this one. Yep. I'm just going to show them what the buttons over here, guys. So you've got your handbrake. Electric handbrake. Um, this actual, oh, you can actually touch this button right here. It shows the reverse parking camera at any time. Yep. Um, over here, auto vehicle holds. This is a, is that a speed, uh, or hill descent? Yep. And your parking sensors. Turn which on you off. can turn on and off, which is, yeah. which is a must. Now, a cool little button here, guys, is actual drive modes. So, echo mode, normal mode, and we also have the sports so, mode, as you can see on the echo screen. Echo mode, normal is sports. Now, I don't think it's going to turn into a race car, but it will give you a bit more oomph. This is a 2 litre. It's a 2 litre. Not the 1.6 turbo which you can get on the Highlander yeah. and of course on the Elite which yeah. is the next one up. This is a 2 wheel drive on the base model. Yeah. And then of course you can you go for the all wheel drive which is the next model. So you can go the all wheel drive in the Elite and the Highlander but not in this model. No. This only comes with 2 wheel drive. Also another thing to note guys is if you do get the 1.6 litre turbo it does have a different transmission so you don't actually have a gear stick. Oh! So that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. So if you actually sit in the Highlander guys you've got a fully immersed um, digital display huge 10.2 inch um, touchscreen over here yep. and this is there's no gear stick here it's actually a series of buttons and because then, it does have a different transmission and then on the highlander you've also got the front rack roof oh yes you've got the big roof in yep. it too yep you've got heated front and rear seats heated steering wheel too um so and oh and cool headlights. seats too yeah yeah. Cooled seats too. Cooling seats as well. Yeah. Hyundai's and, come a long way. Yeah, Hyundai has come a long way. I think this is a really good representation of um you Can know you the, the innovation that? they've been showing. It's got a nice kind of Show them that. Line over here, guys. I'm just watching my fingers how it goes. It's got air vents here. Now, over here, there's actually nothing here. It looks like a huge air vent, but it's nothing. The air vent is actually just, <laughs> it's just this big. Um, this is all just design, guys. Plastic touch, of course. Look, um, as touch me and Fatty are touching it right now, it does feel very... It's plastic, yeah. It doesn't feel too, too durable in the sense. I don't like the finish here, but once again, this is the base model. Uh, the glove boxes, yeah, not too bad. Let's have a look in here. This is a different design. I like yeah. how you can actually push the button. Yeah, there. I really like this. It does make give it a nice yeah. finish there. You got your glove box there. You can see the back there too. But you got plenty of room all around. Yeah, right? Plenty of room in the car, guys. And a lot of head headroom. Yeah, tall. and Fatty's a pretty tall bloke himself. So I'm actually enjoying this, and I can still see over the, the bonnet. Yeah. Again, with the lines, as you can see, the contrast Paula was talking about. They've done it on the bonnet as yeah. well. You can see it here too, guys. Yeah. They've done, they've done well in the whole interior and of course the exterior and the outside as well. It, it's a different design, but they've changed it like you said, yeah. from the ground up. Now, you haven't driven this car, have you, Fats? No, I actually want to drive this. I've driven it. Um, yeah, let's see how, what you think of it. Alright guys, let's go for a spin. What do you think of Fats so far? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the drive, Paula. It's quite smooth, especially with the steering wheel, it's quite responsive. 
-hmm. Is that what you felt when you were driving? Yeah, it's um, it's a very smooth drive. You don't feel much of the road. Um, a bit of outside noise, but not much. I think it's mostly from the tyres. And I like the digital speed in front of me. Analog as well that we got. Digital and analog, yep. Yeah, so that's quite happening. And it's also telling me the speed limit around town. So it's telling me 50 at the moment. In this, that's, that's pretty cool. In this street here. Yeah, I think it reads the speed signs if I'm... Yeah, it does. Yeah, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, it reads the speed signs. So, and um, yeah, so for a standard model to have that, it's pretty impressive, I've got to say. Now, this this being the two liter itself, uh, it should have a bit of grunt. Not Look, it's anything okay. powerful. It's um, it does all right for what it is. It's not a overly big car. It's pretty mid. It's like a mid-sized SUV, if anything. Two liter does the job, but I would probably obviously want the 1.6 liter turbo if I were to go for a bit. Well, I like anything turbo. So anything, anything turbo. turbo yeah. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna take the roundabout here. Maybe chest out how the. Car See how turns. it grips? Yeah, it grips nice. Grips yeah, quite well. Very little body roll. And if I was always watching me, I always have to give the car a little bit on a turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a very noisy engine. Yeah, very loud. Very I, noisy. Just put, I just put my foot down and you could actually hear it. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to hear that from the camera, um, but there was a lot of uh, engine noise there when he put his foot down. And the car did move somewhere. It did move, but it revs pretty high. Yep, you could hear it. But the cabin space all around, it's it's pretty decent. Yeah, good good visibility. I wouldn't say ideal, like the best visibility. Just there's a lot of a yeah, there's a bit of a grey area here where the, the side pillars. mirrors and the pillars are. Big side mirrors though, but massive. Oh, massive Those are the side biggest mirrors, yeah. mirrors I've ever seen. <laughs> oh look, it's um, <laughs> it's definitely big. It's not small, that's for sure. But it does the job in my opinion. Back's pretty open. There's no. I'm no real big that's blind spot in the back. In the rear view, I can see everything from behind, which is good because that window is is massive in the back. Yeah, it so, is. Yeah, so nice I can square see window from the back. So if you're all worried about how does it look from the front and back, pretty good. Just pretty much like Paula said. From the side, it's just those pillars. Uh, the only thing that's really stopping yep. it. From and being what you do get, and now especially with the new designs of most cars, they're very curvy and very how can I say. A bit funky, so futuristic. a bit futuristic, <laughs> but some of them do um, deprive you from some visibility because they get to go for a bit more design. But this car, even though they've got really curvature designs and a very, I'd say, different style, it still retains a lot of good visibility. I think the only two drawbacks would be these little eight pillars here. On the side itself. Yeah. So overall, power, overall, inside the cabin space, not too much noise coming in, like Paula said. We're on a pretty smooth road right now, so you're not really hearing too much from a little bit from the tyres, but not nothing major. And turning, turning around the roundabout. It's oh, gripping. You're getting a bit excited there. Yeah, I, I'm just <laughs> testing everything out. Our viewers want to know how it feels. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, well, look, um, it's doing the job for sure. I like, I do like how the dash is presented, especially when you're driving. You don't feel like it's cluttered. It feels pretty simple, it's plain. Buttons are all near your near hands. And don't really I, have I to like reach the for fact anything. there's not too much happening here. Yeah, that's what I like. It's, I, I like the finish, it's nice, well finished. I'm just trying, to, just trying to figure out here where you put your hands, Paul. Your yeah, me. so what Fatty's doing, you can't see in the camera, but he's got his hands in those little sections in the steering wheel. <laughs> it feels Look, strange. You wouldn't, you wouldn't put your hand there when you're driving around town. You'd drive it when you're on the highway, you'd probably place one of your hands there while you're just driving straight you, the whole way. You know what it reminds me of? It's like resting your hand in there. Yeah, <laughs> it, it fits your hands pretty well. Cup holder for your hands. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a hand holder? Yeah. Hand holder. <laughs> um, but overall, yeah. what are you thinking as a passenger? That's fine. I could, I couldn't fault it in the sense of being a passenger. There's plenty of knee room. I don't feel like it's pushed me in. You've got plenty of cup holders. And I like how the side doesn't push into my leg. Yeah, you, you can rest your knee on it without worrying. Yeah. On both sides. Yeah. But no, I'm, I'm happy with how it drives. I'm happy. I, yeah. Overall, if, you know, for what you're paying for this vehicle as well, I think I believe it's about around 38. Yeah, the list on, price of this is about 38 and a half, roughly. Roughly around there. Yeah, and not of bad. you got to add on your on-road cost, but for what you're paying and what you're getting, it's quality. Yeah, I can see why uh, Hyundai is definitely um, killing up. it. Yeah, they've stepped up Massively. a lot. Massively. They've stepped up a lot. They've come a long way. And yeah. these, are, these are quite popular as well. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, if maybe a few years ago, a bit longer than that, I would have never considered Hyundai, but seeing where they are now, and you know, they've got a lot of exciting stuff happening too. So, um, they've got a lot of new performance cars coming, and uh, I think they're, they're, doing, they're heading the, definitely in the right direction, especially with this. I think I'll be, I like, I'll be I like excited to see what we'll do next, which Hyundai. Yeah. Another review on it. We, we might be doing some more Hyundai, you never know. You yeah. never know, you never know. But you know what, we wanted to try something different as well. We wanted to try um, 
Well, we actually rate the car one to ten. Yes. So for overall, me driving at the moment and every experience and quality. What do you rate the whole? Uh, if we were to put a shift into gear score, I'd yep. probably give it a uh, oh probably an eight. An overall. eight. Yeah. That Apollo's going high. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I, I like it. It's all right. What do you think? Oh, oh, do you know what? Hyundai has come a long way in my eyes. Driving it, feeling it, not too bad. There's a lot of things I reckon they could have done a little bit more in this car. Yeah. Overall, like maybe the push button stuff. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? true. Just that's little, true. little things, you know what yeah. I mean? Look, yeah, 7.5 7 for 7 me. 7.5, okay. Yeah. Well, look, um, I think our scores are pretty close yeah. anyway. Reasonable. And uh, we are obviously considering all aspects of the car from performance to handling to interior to quality. Um, but yeah. Cool. Alright, All right. thanks, thanks guys. So I'll get the SIG score of 7.5 from Fads and 8 from me guys. So, that, so, so that's hope that helps <laughs> with decision making. <laughs> but no, it is it is a good car though. Alright guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll, we'll see you guys later until the next time. Alright, thanks again. Have a